What is going on guys? Welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool wheelbarrow where it actually looks like it's got something inside. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it. Right guys to build this really cool wheelbarrow you're going to need all the blocks that you can see right in front of me. We are going to need three armor stands, a custom wheel head and a custom dirt head. Now if you cannot get custom heads guys I will show you an alternative that you can use, a cauldron, a quartz slab, cobblestone wall, dark oak fence gate, pistons and redstone blocks. Now once you have all these blocks guys you're going to need to find a place where you want to build your wheelbarrow. Now the first thing we're going to need to do guys we're going to need to dig our hole that is three wide and two down just like this. Then we're going to need to grab our slabs and place one slab on the left and one slab on the right. Then grab your cobblestone wall and place that in the middle right there. Next what we need to do guys we need to grab our armor stands. Now we need to place an armor stand on each one of these slabs. So place one on the left and one on the right. Once again guys you may need to place this down a couple of times until you get straight armor stands just like this. Now we need to grab our piston. Now we need to break a block either side of the armor stand and make a piston face in to each armor stand just like that so we can push these armor stands in the middle to this cobblestone wall. So grab your redstone block, power each piston so it pushes it in, then destroy the pistons first, then destroy the redstone blocks and as you can see the armor stands are very close to this cobblestone wall and that is exactly what we want. So now what we need to do guys, we need to destroy that cobblestone wall that is in the middle. So just dig down a little bit and then destroy the cobblestone wall right there then we can repair whatever we have right here. But what we need to do now is repair place where that cobblestone wall was with any kind of block. So just build up above your armor stands just like this, then grab your pistons, make it face down into that block and then we need to push that block all the way down to the bottom right there. So power it with your redstone block right there, put any block in the middle, power it again, then put any block once again and then power it one last time and then we can destroy this area right here and if we look down there we now have a block in that area. So one final thing what we need to do one now is place some blocks up here then we need to put one more armor stand in there like that, destroy that block so then that armor stand then falls on top of that block that we just pushed down there. Now you should get a weird looking formation of armor stands just like this. So what we can do now is just cover up these side parts and then we can go and get our custom heads to make this look even better. So to get the custom heads guys we're going to need to give ourselves some command blocks. Now to give yourself a command block you need to do this command in your chat and that is slash give then your minecraft name and then put c-o-m-m -M, press tab and press enter and that will give you a command block. Once you have a command block place it down like these two right here then you're going to need to paste a couple of commands inside of your command block. These commands will be in the description so make sure you just copy and paste once you've pasted the commands inside of your command block press done press the button. Now the first one will give you a gear head and now the second one will give you a dirt head. Now these are going to be used for our wheelbarrow. Now what we want to do with the gear wheel head we want to place these on the outside armor stand. So on this one right here and this one right here. Then we want to place the dirt in the middle armor stand like that. So we get something that looks very interesting and kind of looks like a little bit weird right now but we're going to make it look a lot better. So what we need to do now is cover up this hole that we have in the ground. So get whatever your floor is made out of build up above that area right here, grab your pistons and do what we normally do guys, we get our pistons facing down and we're just going to push them down into that hole until it's all covered up. So power it right there, put any block in the middle, power it one more time, then we can destroy everything and as you can see this area is completely covered up. So now what we need to do guys is grab our cauldron, build up our cauldron on top of our armor stands and then grab your piston make it face down into the cauldron, power it, push it on top of the armor stands and as you can see it's really starting to look like a wheelbarrow now. Now finally what we need to do is grab our dark oak fence gate, put it at the back, open it up and there we go guys. We have a really cool looking wheelbarrow where it actually looks like we're carrying stuff inside. Now guys I did mention to you at the beginning of the video if you cannot get custom heads there is an alternative that you can use. You can use a wither skeleton skull and a custom steve head which is just like this one right here instead of the dirt head and the wheels and let me show you what you can do right here. Now if I remove these blocks from my inventory what we can do is right click on these areas right here, remove the heads that we have on there like that and then we can put the wither skeleton skull instead 
to replace the wheels and it still looks really good and then for the dirt head in the middle what we can do is replace the dirt head with a steve head but to do that you would need to remove the cauldron and then put the steve head on top as well and there we go guys that is what it will look like with a steve head and two with a skeleton skulls as the wheel so you can do this in vanilla with completely vanilla blocks but if you have access to custom heads you can do it with custom heads to add that extra little bit of detail but guys if you want to come and play on my minecraft server the ip will be at the top of the screen and in the description it is mc.chaoscraft.net i'm pretty much on there every single day guys so if you want to come and say hello that is the best place to find me but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another how to tutorial